Good day guys and welcome to today's tropical update. In today's video we will be talking about the potential for a tropical system to affect the Caribbean. All of that and more is going to be discussed in today's video so make sure that you guys stay tuned. So guys, to begin off today's forecast, we're going to be looking at the latest National Hurricane Center outlook. And as you guys can see, we're currently monitoring two areas of potential development. One area which is in the far eastern Atlantic and one area that's in the central Atlantic. Now keep in mind, none of these tropical waves has exited the coast of Africa yet but for future preferences these waves are expected to generally move off the coast of africa as time progresses and we get farther into next week maybe on tuesday or monday these waves could be exiting the coast of africa and that's what's going to be spawning the tropical development in the atlantic if you take a look at the latest satellite image over the coast of africa you guys could see that there is a very strong tropical wave that has not yet exit the coast of africa and this should be the tropical wave that should spawn all of that tropical activity over you know the far eastern atlantic so we should be looking at this tropical wave as it continues on its way westward as it continues to travel off the coast of africa the models are showing that this could develop into something if we take a look at the dry air forecast you could see this is the water vapor rgb satellite image we could see that within the mid layers of the atmosphere you could see some pretty dark um colors that is basically indicating that there is dry air but around the area where we are anticipating development you're not seeing much of that you know darkness which means that there's not really a dry and stable atmosphere right now in this area you know the atmosphere is pretty unstable which would allow any tropical wave that moves off the coast of africa to develop into something further if you take a look at the latest vertical shear forecast for the tropical atlantic you could see that the vertical shear is decreasing in the tropical atlantic which means that you know over the next couple of days as the dry air moves away and lifts towards the north all of this you know vertical shear and you know the warm sea surface temperatures and the tropical wave that moves off the coast of africa will have a chance of most likely developing to developing into a tropical system if you take a look at the latest you know sea surface temperature map we could see that sea surface temperatures are pretty warm in the area that we're anticipating development in the main development region now keep in mind it is looking likely that these tropical waves are going to develop and they may try to slide their way towards the island so you guys that live in the Leicester Antilles all the way down to Trinidad and Tobago would need to initially monitor these waves as they know they trek their way across the tropical Atlantic the main development region should I say and these waves could move towards you guys area take a look at the latest you know vorticity signature for the euro model we could see that around august you know about 90 hours from now around august 17th the models are showing that we could see maybe a tropical depression or a weak tropical storm moving its way towards the lesser antilles and you could see it's being guided by a pretty strong high pressure that pressure that's placed towards the north of the system so keep in mind as you know these tropical waves continue to come off the coast of africa you know the ridging is pretty strong at the moment and that will allow any tropical system to develop to move you know closer towards the lesser antilles so i will be monitoring that for you guys over the next couple of days because you know by the time we get into the mid to the ending of this week we could be seeing this same exact scenario unfold so you know as of now it's looking likely that at least we could see a tropical storm forming the main development region and eventually over time it is looking likely that this is going to move its way towards the lesser antilles and the islands those who live in trinidad and tobago 
you know i am watching this for you guys because you know as this continues to move towards your area it will bring a threat of heavy rainfall maybe even damaging winds it all depends on the strength of the system but regardless as i mentioned i will be watching this for you guys so if you take a look you know at the latest plots of this it is showing that this wave does have a lot of support guys so you know as we continue to get further out into the future even you know the waves that are close to the coast of africa that are expected to develop um you know those are going to be monitored but i'm not really having a really good feeling about those um because you know those are going to be guided by the high pressure and it is looking likely that those will be moving farther towards the north unlike our system that's you know beelining its way towards the lesser antilles and that's the wave that we would initially need to monitor over time because you know the gfs model is showing that this will move deep into the caribbean into the western caribbean and could potentially spawn some type of system maybe a tropical storm or a tropical depression then after that point it moves into the gulf of mexico after it slides off somewhere between the yucatan peninsula and honduras anywhere in this area you know if this wave develops into something and moves into the western caribbean it could encounter favorable conditions which would initially lead to um further intensification or organization should i say of the system so this would need to be monitored so you know as time progresses guys i will keep an eye on this for you so if you take a look at the, you know the the forecast you know we're looking at at the moment is how you know we see a significant spike in the tropical activity in my last forecast exactly which was about five days ago i mentioned that we were going to see a spike in tropical activity somewhere between the mid towards the ending of august and this is exactly what we're seeing at the moment you could see as we get further out into the month we could see that significant spike by september 10 and that should last somewhere up until october 28th so we're going to be watching the tropics because you know the models are showing potential development and the um atlantic could be spawning more systems for future preferences now that's it for today's forecast guys and thank you for watching